after what appears to be a very long hiatus when it comes to information on Warhammer Space Marine 2. Finally, the multiplayer trailer dropped and we finally get more details about what exactly the multiplayer game will entail, as well as a lot of looks within the different modes. While we've always known this is coming out and in development for PlayStation, Xbox, and PC, we didn't have much word on the multiplayer until now. I'm going to break down the multiplayer modes and then you can watch the full trailer at the end as just, well, give my thoughts. From the ability to dive into a three-player narrative campaign called Operations, three-player co-op missions, and a 6v6 multiplayer, which takes on the title of Eternal War, it looks like Space Marine 2 is aiming for a longevity that the original game tried to do, and let's be honest, a lot of us loved it, but noticed it just didn't have the support for. Now, the first thing we see is a full setup of the narrative campaign for three players named Operations. It's a series of connected arcs a bit longer, like Strikes and Destiny 2 with the players able to take in their full customizable space marines and join up together. This is separate from the main story's narrative campaign and doesn't have the restrictions on players taking on characters that make up the actual story-based space marines. These are your own guys. Each operation is a leap into the angry insect hive locations of the Xenos, with particular missions offering unique locations, fights, and requirements to complete the operations themselves before you get to claim your victory, get your rewards, and customize even more. With the game undergoing these delays that I saw, I can point out that having played eight hours of this in the past during the preview event, the footage, the detail, and the fluidity of movement is all scaled up from what I got to play. The characters, as well as an extra detail pass on the game, has made it look a lot better and run much better than it did for when I played it during that preview. For those people who like the smaller engagements and a PvE kind of situation, this is going to be the mode for you. The next up is the 6x6. Six six. This is an eternal war, a multiplayer battle against opposing players for control of specific locations. Now remember, this is currently totally PvP as a war, meaning at this time no PvE PvP elements, just six against six. These are in set locations different than the narrative campaign as well as the operations, though I do hear there's going to be some different overlap between some of those locations as they're pieced together for maps for you to explore. It should also be noted that they have three different modes currently, Annihilation, Seize Ground, Capture, and Control. Those will be your three different 6x6 six six PvP modes that you're going to start out with prior to any other additional modes that they add later. When it comes to customization, because this is going to go across all of the new versions, each class from Tactical, Assault, Vanguard, Bulwark, Sniper and Heavy has three loadouts, so you can customize the loadouts for particular group designs, but also a series of more than 25 skills per class for upgrading. You can edit your armor, which allows for you to outfit different helmets, pauldrons, breastplates, war gear, gauntlets, and greaves that you can unlock throughout the three different modes as rewards, and also change the look and color of all of them. There's also seven weapon classes, with each class of weapon having separate statistics for firepower, accuracy, rate of fire, reloading speed, piercing, range, ammo capacity, and reserves, and each will be different. Each weapon category also has leveled up versions from normal, master, artificer, and relic levels, with unique combinations for every single one of them as well and separate skins for all of them. Different level weapons are also unlocked as you progress, and they all have different perk trees. I don't know if these are going to be random or they're going to be set specific objectives, but I am trying to find out. Now, these customizations can be used across all those multiplayer modes, as I said, but not within the main narrative mode. You won't be able to take those and move them in, at least for all the information I've been able to gather. Lastly, before we jump into the trailer proper itself, there is a pre-order bonus for this, and it's unfortunately that four-day early unlock. It is what it is. It also comes with a different set of armor for the DLC. They also have a battle pass where you're going to have even more cosmetics, but they actually separated this and said new content like missions, enemies, and weapons are all going to be available through regular free updates. So it looks like the battle pass, at least currently, and the way they've described it, is going to be just all cosmetics. An interesting way to do it, and I don't remember a game that's done it exactly like that. If you have, post off in the comments. Let's just jump into the rest of the trailer so you guys can see what I've been able to see and pick out anything that I've missed. Feel free to also throw that in the comments. Peace out. See you on the next review. Proceeding to relay. Lassa on the march to take that high pirate's head. Maintain box reports. Clear that wall climbing scum. Death to all Zena! Now we end this. I have been dying to carve up some Zenos. Bomb is in place, Command! 
We can make it! Keep going! The lights will guide us, brothers. Going to kill you soon enough, demon! Hold fast, brothers! Withstand the heat and keep moving! Taste of what is to come.